everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining us on today's amazing video. I want to do this with an English accent, but I love my English people, and I'm afraid I'd butcher it, and then uh, it would go downhill from there, and it would be over. So I will just say this, that British style and luxury, quite honestly, and I love Italian stuff as well, uh, but British luxury may, I, it has to be the best in the world. I'm watching the Crown, you know, the show, The Crown. Whether it's true or not, who cares? But they're driving these, man. They're driving these, and this is what started it all. Now, these cars here, these Range Rovers, are starting their climb up. Don't miss out on the climb up, like the, like the Broncos and things like that that you could buy for $25,000 at one time, and now we're $125,000. These right here started it all. They drive like, like amazing. The four-wheel drive system, first off, is ridiculous, but the luxury of it is amazing. And this right here is something that you wouldn't have been able to get in the U.S. back in the day, so you'll have something different than everybody else. We import these from Italy. I bought three of these at the same time from the same exact owner. He bought this brand new, right? It has low mileage. It was in his warehouse, so we repainted this here, okay? And we put our own custom touches on a brand new leather interior with great piping and carpets and, oh my God, so fabulous. Let's take a few minutes. We're going to walk around it. I get excited because you don't understand that these right here, when you drive them, they just have a feel that no other vehicle is able to give you, and that's why they're legendary. All right, as I mentioned before, this is brand new paint. It's called Cypress Green, and you say, wow, Tony, that's really shiny and really nice. Of course it is. Why? Because we started out with a great vehicle, right? We didn't start out with a rusty, dented uh, Range Rover. This was really nice. It just happened to have, you know, 40-year-old paint on it. And so uh, we said, you know what? Let's do it justice and let's repaint the whole thing. And that's what we did in the factory color with the base coat, clear coat. Why do we do the clear coat on top again and again? Because this way you can wash and wax the car. It's nice and protected and enough said, it looks fabulous. But the real test, the real test says, how can I read this in, uh, in the paint? And when I say that, look how crisp and clear every letter is. The clearer and crisper the letter is, the better the quaint paint quality is without the orange peel in it that you've heard of. So read this, check that out. You can read the whole window sticker right in it. Boom. All right, so part of choosing a vehicle takes some, I don't want to say talent, but some things to look for that maybe you might not have thought of, and that's my job to show you those things. So let's take a peek at this for a second, and I'll tell you why I made the decision uh, to purchase this truck. So for instance, it comes with a lot of standard features like Lockheed four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, modern air conditioning and heat, right? And great turbo diesel power, getting great fuel economy and great power as well. So highway speeds, 100 miles an hour, no big deal. Fording uh, water up to here. The air intake is all the way here. It's above my waist. So you can ford water, right? Before air gets sucked into the, into the turbos uh, all the way to there. So that's a pretty, pretty impressive stat. What I was getting at though is when you get a vehicle like this and you wanna make sure that it's a really good vehicle, here are some telltale signs, right? On the front of here, there's a lot of decals. You say, wow, Tom, that's a lot of decals. Can you get those off? Well, I don't recommend that you get those off, and I'll tell you why, because these decals were put on at the factory circa 1980s, okay? You can't buy them. Where am I going with this? If this car was in an accident, right, they would replace this panel, these would all be gone, and you wouldn't have them. So this would all be nice and clear and crisp, looking great, of course. However, I left all the decals on here showing the authenticity of this and the great care that was taken into it. Just a small little bit about that. When we get inside and look at some other things, I'll give you some other telltale signs that says maybe this one is a little nicer than others. All right, so there's no mistaking this is a Range Rover from behind. Regardless if you couldn't see that, it just looks different than other vehicles. But it also has a lot of great features in it that some trucks don't have, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First off, it starts out with a pretty heavy duty uh, trailering system here that comes with it, right? It's already wired as L, but look how heavy duty, it's welded to the frame. It's not part of the bumper or anything. That's a serious heavy duty. They know that people pulled, were able to pull horse trailers with this, right? This is nice too, because it's split. You can fold down the seats. You can carry a ton of stuff, horse stuff, lumber stuff, whatever it is you want. Or if you're feeling just kind of uh, elegant, you can just enjoy the English countryside, sitting right here, enjoying a little bit of 
biscuits, maybe some good tea, because we do not have great tea here in the US. The tea in uh, the UK is Babo, right? Uh, that's one option there. And then little stuff like when you go to close it, these are the, like lifting tabs, you close it this way. Listen to how that sounds, man. It's like clunk, right? It's like heavy duty solid. This covers the big storage area. Spare tires on board is too. It's very, very modern, very leather, very luxury inside, very nice stuff, right? That's what you're getting. All right, so come join me inside here and see what a Range Rover is all about. However, what a Range Rover really is about is this, listen. That is one heavy, solid door. Everything about this truck is overbuilt, which I love about it. This is a serious four-wheel drive vehicle that's also a luxury vehicle. It starts four-wheel drive first, luxury second. Most people think they're luxury first, four-wheel drive second, not the case. You can lock the diffs here, right, giving you full four-wheel drive all the time, right, in mud, sand, snow, right, where other cars that are all-wheel drive, maybe one wheel turns in back and one wheel turns in front, not like that, this here. The fact that we have a turbo diesel engine with uh, great fording capabilities in the water because the intake is so high up above the fender is pretty amazing too. Well, let's talk about the luxury for a minute. These are real deal captain's chairs, man. You have a commanding view of the road. The vehicle fits you just like it's supposed to. Full array of gauges, right? Uh, here we have incline, decline, uh, departure angle, gauge right there, which is cool. Modern digital sound system so you can stream your music and all the amenities that you'd like, power windows and power locks and air conditioning and heat. And just really great stuff to make it really nice. And then we did this custom uh, interior here. We had handmade in Italy when we get these uh, vehicles from. Um, and you can see the pattern is fabulous. The green piping matches the exterior color of the paint out there. Uh, and the back seat looks just as nice. Imagine going out in something like this. This is like a rock star vehicle. I mean, people are gonna park this up front at the valet versus something else because it's a cool, cool, classic piece of history. It's awesome. All right, so let's close up this video and run down a few things if we could for a second, please. Let's talk about this. This is a luxury vehicle, but it's not like your daily driver, but it could be your daily driver. Why do I say that? Because that's conflicting. It's a simple fact it has all the luxury features. However, it's a manual transmission and it is turbo diesel. And it's so cool to drive once in a while, take people out. Or you could drive it every day because it gets great fuel economy. It's super nice driving and has all the modern conveniences, not to mention it is beautiful. All right. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 tell you all about this classic uh, Range Rover. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to the page if you would, Pete. Like the uh, video down below and uh, share it with your friends. I hope they like it as well. And I'll see you on the test drive. All right, let's hit it. Let's hit, get to the test drive because today is the drive as we drive just like kings and queens have driven in Range Rover Classics for many, many years. Having a turbo diesel is kind of nice. I right, turn the key on, got a nice little light here, it goes out and boom, starts right on up. How nice is this? I better put on my safety belt, put on my safety belt. All right, shall we uh, motor away? All right, let's do that. All right, so many people often wonder, like, what's, uh, what's a Range Rover Classic like? And the truth of the matter is, they really are uh, maybe one of the world's greatest 4x4s ever made. You think about it, you're thinking about uh, the four-wheel drive. Most people think about the luxury of these cars. Well, however, they were the first real SUV, right, SUV to throw luxury into an incredible four-wheel drive system, right? And if royalty drove these, I would imagine for us commoners, they might be good enough. So having said that, they also uh, make a great daily driver. And so we're gonna take it down the road here for a minute and do some windy road action. Make sure that we're all good. Looking left, looking right, so no one dies. All right, so we're wheeling on down the road. The turbo diesel makes plenty of power. Look at this. I call it, it moving with alacrity. That's a new word uh, that I'm using today. Look how well these handle, you know why? They've got a great suspension, nice footprint on wheels and tires, and they have a lot of luxury inside too. Plus this is super quiet. Like, let me put the window up. And I want you to hear how amazing 
it is. You're just driving along, and even though it's diesel, uh, you barely know it's even there. And again, we're talking about, we are talking about luxury here, right? Wrapped in some really nice leather, the custom seats that you saw in the video earlier. And then, uh, and then just like a great suspension. It's just amazing. Think about throwing three or four other people in here. <sighs> and now I need to relax. I need to relax because you know why? I'm driving my Range Rover. It's all fresh and looks good. Getting a lot of waves already because people love these things now. Because even though today's modern Range Rover is great, it doesn't look anything like uh, these classics because the classics are really special. Great power for the hills. This is a perfect test for the turbo to kick in. All right, so we closed out this video. We're going on the last of our leg of our test drive. We're talking about luxury. We're talking about how great and solid this feels, rattle-free, not creaky, all the creature comforts and amenities that you could possibly want, and some classic styling. It's not often you get all that out of one uh, vehicle. Typically, they're just kind of old and creaky. This is so not like that. Anyway, thanks for the drive, and I'll see you next time.